the twin flame label. Once you figure out you're a twin flame, or once you understand the concept and you chase for it, oftentimes we can become attached to it and our ego can kind of feel inflated. I'm a twin flame, I've got a twin flame, I'm better, I'm better, better, better. Having the label oftentimes does not help you on this journey. It locks you into this egoic prism of thinking you are superior and also obsessively focused on twin flame, twin flame, twin flame. If you let go of the label and just see them as just a regular human being who you have a connection with of some sort and calm and ground that energy down, you will find this journey works a lot smoother for you. Yeah. So you're loving yourself. You're grounded in peace. This individual shows up. They're not God. They're not your God. They're not the source of your happiness and joy. They're just another being. Some say the story that it's your soul in another body. Okay, that's a story. But realistically, it's just another human being who's got their own issues, who you have a connection with, and you carry on focusing on yourself, loving yourself and elevating yourself and grounding yourself in peace. Elevating your vibration and grounding it onto the earth in peace. Knowing that God is your source of all your good. And that way, when they return, your twin flame after your separation you will not be obsessed on them or focused on them because you'll be like okay you're just a human being you got issues and you're not the source of my good whenever i have an issue or i feel triggered i go to god and i get it sorted within because they are not anything else so yeah the label is not very helpful actually um and people can take advantage of you or get um annoyed with you about this obsession and what's going on so i would personally drop the twin flame label